right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, so the Nate Diaz Jake Paul fight on Saturday there. Uh, getting a lot of uh, mixed reactions and reviews. Um, kind of based and depending on uh, people's knowledge and experience in the fight game. Um, there's basically three takeaways from that fight on Saturday. The first one being that um, Jake Paul won, beat Nate Diaz, uh, MMA legend who has some uh, boxing training, and um, he does have uh, some boxing fundamentals, um, but I believe whether or not he's it's due to his age a little bit or whether or not he just wasn't full heartedly in it. Um, I love Nate Diaz. Uh, followed him from day one, but it did almost seem like uh, Nate Diaz was kind of just going through the motions for the paycheck a little bit, um, which he very much deserves. Nobody fucking deserves that paycheck any more than uh, Nate Diaz. Um, so you could take that takeaway how uh, Jake Paul pulled the W away from Nate Diaz, an MMA legend, um, one of the most popular fighters in the game, even though he's not in the game. Uh, chances are good he'll be back within the UFC uh, probably in the next six months. Um, the other take that you can take away from that fight is that uh, Nate Diaz went 10 rounds with a younger, bigger, stronger, probably juiced up Jake Paul. Um, he did, Nate Diaz did what he does. He just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. Um, there's some bullshit narrative going around that um, the fucking fight was uh, rigged and all that because there wasn't major contact when uh, Nate Diaz uh, went down there. Uh, anyone that knows fighting and anyone that's seen the replay, you can see his ankle kind of buckle. Um, that's just a bullshit narrative altogether. Uh, so yeah, you got your two takes so far. Jake Paul beats Nate Diaz, an MMA legend. Next take, Nate Diaz went 10 rounds with Jake Paul bigger, younger, stronger, probably more better trained boxer. Um, and then there's the third take, which I'm not hearing a lot of at all out there yet. Um, and I'm not sure why, because the biggest takeaway that I had from Saturday, the Jake Paul, Nate Diaz fight, was Nick Diaz. That's my takeaway. Because anyone who's a part of the Nick Diaz army or is a fan of Nick or and or Nate Diaz knows that over the years those guys have never gone after each other's opponents they just don't do it that's not how they get down it always has been you can pull up multiple interviews um, they both said it in multiple interviews over the years how they don't like to uh, go after each other's opponents. Um, they're usually both usually really respectful towards each other, of course, they're brothers. Um, they've always shown a lot of love and respect for each other. However, on Saturday night, Nick Diaz, when questioned about what he thought about um, how his brother Nate Diaz did tonight, he said, uh, honestly, I think it, he still needs some work. And that, like, right away, as soon as I heard that, though that's not a quote, but that was basically exactly what he said. Um, he said he still needs work, and right away I was like, whoa, this is like, has he had a couple couple wobbly pops? What's going on here? And uh, he also said, uh, let's be real, I'm better than anybody out there in this game right now. So right there, he said that Nate Diaz needs some work on his boxing, he said that he's better than Nate Diaz because Nate Diaz just did one of those fights the night that he was being interviewed about it. So Nick Diaz said he thinks his brother needs some work. He says that he's the best one out there in the game doing this right now. He's better than any of them out there doing this boxing thing right now. And uh, he said not to forget who started this shit with the Nick Diaz army. So damn, you know what I'm saying? 
What happened to all the love and respect? Because there wasn't on Saturday. Are we going to see a Nate Nick Diaz fight? You can take all my money on that one. All of it. All of it. 